Okay. Here we are then. Might be just missing my mic here while I'm getting things set up. Hope you guys can still hear me. It's time to, uh, I say you guys. I think I'm all on my lonesome just now. We'll be getting things started, however. Um, yeah, might as well open this up to the public straight off and set up a bronze game. And I think I might just sit here quietly while, um, while, uh, while either the, uh, the chat here fills up or this lobby. I think I'll roll out with the girl from the last video, considering she's already kind of up here. Um, let me lean back so I'm where I need to be for my mic. I'm just I'm leaning forward here to check on the chat. <laughs> um, it's bronze, so obviously I'm not going to bother using up my equipment, although it wouldn't hurt if I did. Um, yeah, why the hell not? When else am I going to use my round ones? You know, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and use my uh, my pistol mod. That's not going anywhere. And uh, then I'll use my pistol at one. And my warp rounds one. And cyclonic ones may actually be quite uh, limited. Yeah, they're not limited, but obviously not outstanding either. But, you know, you lose some, you win some. Hey, we got people here. Hey, Julian. Hello, Woodward. How are you guys doing? Right, I don't know what kind of platform you guys... What country do I live in? Wales. I am a Welshman. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't know if you guys are on the 360 or not. If you do, or rather if you are, feel free to come in and jump in and uh, join me. I'll probably be hunting for public lobbies if I don't fill up my own. Because, uh, you know, some people do uh, struggle to connect here in Wales. <laughs> um, obviously, as well, for the other games, I'll probably get... Well, probably... I'll definitely let you guys decide who I play in future. I think I'll start things off here with the Asari Adept, though. I lie. You lie? From Brazil. Oh, hey, buddy. How are you doing? You're a PC guy, of course. You live in Wales too? Yeah, well, how did you not recognise the accent? Or are you completely, like, deaf to the accent? Because I'll be honest with you, I didn't think I had one until I went away to study in Preston and then everybody was pointing me out for the foreigner that I was. <laughs> you play on Wii U. I'm actually glad to hear that, uh, you know, the Wii U's got um, people playing it because I know the Wii U uh, is probably not the best version of the game, if you don't mind me saying, simply because um, you can't get all the DLC, which I think is outrageous. Because you come with um, the Earth stuff already installed, don't you? That's just, you know, you get, you've got, um, what's the first one called again? That'll come to me in a moment. But you've got Rebellion and you've got Earth already installed on the disc, haven't you? What have we got here? Let me scroll down so I can see the chat. At first you thought I was Australian. Uh, I get that a lot. Uh, usually from the American crowd. They just hear me use the word mate. And that officially <laughs> puts me in the Australian box. Straight off the thing. But that's a, that's a very British thing to say too. <laughs> That's going to bug me now. I knew that all of the DLCs, apart from Earth, start with an R. <laughs> Resurgence. There's the ticket. Yeah, Resurgence. One of the best DLCs, in all fairness. Four characters. You've got Earth and Rebellion. You should have Resurgence, right? With uh, the Geth Infiltrator, an Engineer, a Sari Justicar. The Crow Guard. It's a pretty good package. Not for weapons as much. You do have the key. Is the key shot come with that? I think it does. Key shot's probably the best weapon you're going to get with a resurgent. You're absolutely right. I can absolutely get this game started. and Because uh, normally the, the games that are already in session uh, pick up players um, faster. I guess their priorities. Naturally, you uh, you don't want some guy stuck on his own against uh, platinum collectors because the rest of the team proceed out. But we do have a guy here, breached medic ten. 
<laughs> what kind of a nickname is that? I don't know. It's his. He's clearly a new guy. He's got the Tyrian soldier with the mantis and striker. I mean, the striker is uh, it's, it's not a great gun on anybody, but uh, I probably really wouldn't recommend it with marksmen. Because the problem with the striker assault rifle is a ramp-up weapon with fuck all ammo. So obviously if you get the ammo faster, you're proper screwed, but he seems ready to go. Uh, I'm not going to keep him waiting. Let's jump into our first game. It has been a long time since I played bronze, that's for sure. I normally only play blon uh, blondes. I normally only play bronze. There you go. I normally play bronze um, for testing. Silver sometimes if I need to test at out attacks and stuff, because if you try that shit on bronze, the enemy just die on you. <laughs> this could be nostalgic. Although I have al also been playing on my PlayStation 4 um, maybe too much, because this 360 pad sure does feel weird in my hands now. Uh, surprisingly comfortable. Co well, I, not so well, yeah, it was surprisingly, but... Uh, the PlayStation 4 uh, controller is really excellent. Oh, look, it's this map too. Have we got... Uh, no, if we had collectors, that would have really been almost a mimic of the uh, the guy that just released. So let's get rid of the rockets. We can do this, Beach Medic. We can do this. Although, Geth, you know, suck. Oh, I missed. Could have blown him up. You'll have to forgive me while I shake off my uh, my PlayStation 4 rust here. And I will get back to looking at the uh, comments after... Well, in between waves, I'll try. <laughs> it's going to be pretty tricky to uh, keep my eye on everything at the moment. But fortunately, as it's bronze, I can take a quick peek back pretty soonish. If you don't mind the sound of my chair. I might get an Xbox Live going again. Ran out of my membership. Blah. Yeah, I know. Um... That's something I gotta, uh, I'm got i going to have to juggle with. I haven't bothered to buy uh, like a, a PSN Plus account yet because none of my PlayStation 4 games are actually uh, got online content. So, you know, it doesn't seem why. So I'm still putting my money in Xbox Live membership at the moment. Preferably, I'll be wealthy enough to get both. I know that um, Myth... Um, uh, my good friend Myth. <laughs> he, at the moment, doesn't have gold on his Xbox Live, which is problematic for recording, because I really would like to uh, get him back. I'm going to have to basically crack open all my uh, my game boxes and see if I've got any uh, trials to just give him. Because he's uh, quite happy with his uh, PlayStation Plus right now. Uh, by the way, <laughs> I've had the comment enough times already now. Uh, let me have a quick look at the uh, chat. No, I'm pretty up to date. Um, there's a couple of you already asking for my PSN. Uh, I'll tell you... <laughs> if you try and put in uh, the my YouTube account name, you'll find that, but it won't be me. <laughs> That's Myth. That's what Myth did to me. Before I even got my PlayStation 4, he basically took my account name so I couldn't have it because he's a bastard like that. <laughs> So, you know, if you want if you want like Myth's joke account, it's not his main account. You can absolutely find him at Boomkey. Oh shit, it's an objective. I'm just letting my dick do all the work here. I'm on the next one, buddy. Cover me. Striker, cover me. He's going melee. You know, I love your Turian balls, there, mate. I really do. You keep at it. We've got another guy, Multi Peter ninety seven. Welcome to the fight. See a guy. Cover me! Cover me! Oh, he's got a fury. Me and you. Me and you need to stick together, buddy. Let's get some bombs. As a fury, you can absolutely get your own bombs going like every two seconds. So you can do what you like with that information. <laughs> That's our last one here. I'm gonna let Multi Peter cover my ass with his sweet throw action. I just did it. <laughs> I get trooper outright. Oh God bless you, Bronze. And there's the last guy for our little Muttley crew here. We got uh, Fakna Botner. <laughs> Fuck no, Fakna Botner. Fakna Botner. Blah 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 blah. Die. 
Where am I coming, Bleach Medic? You crazy million fool. You got him. Vitarian soldier, I'm guessing. Mystic blade action. Sure, yeah, I thought I just got shot. Ah! <laughs> Put yourself right in the open there, I like it. Should have let him be thrown, really, that would have been the funniest. Okay. Um, what do you think of the acolyte for the Asari Adept? What's that? For can the boot bot the boot knife in boot in Portuguese? Okay, there you go. We're fucking educational for everybody here. Thank you for that information. What do I think about the acolyte on the Asari Adept? I mean, the acolyte works on everybody. You know, <laughs> it absolutely does. So, yeah, why not? I guess certainly great for um, taking out like atlases and primes. Okay, because. Uh, Obviously, your biotic explosions, although always powerful, not as powerful on shields. So, you know, you can obviously get the Acolyte to just completely rinse those shields, and then you're in business. You know, if you're doing warp and throw on armor, they, uh, they're not going to last much longer. Enemies approaching. Ooh, going for the stasis. It's amazing just, you know, the fact that I didn't mess me up completely. Thought I could see you. Oh, whoops. Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, because I missed the stasis, I was just like, sure he was going to stand up and shoot me, but he just... I was quite happy to just nestle down there and it ended up making me look like a complete and utter muff. <laughs> uh, okay, next objective. How are you doing? Uh, uh, knife in boot? I'm going to send him that message just to fuck with him. <laughs> You'll probably, I'll probably get a message back maybe in Portuguese. You might uh, get the... Uh, Impression I understand. Boom. Now that was a fucking speedy throw, uh, warp throw combo. How much piercing do you need to get through a Batarian? Quite a lot, I think. They're pretty fucking meaty. Especially if it's... Uh, particularly ME3's Batarian. They've lost the ability to just roll. And check out Inferno Grenades. <laughs> scoring kill streaks all over the place. You you go for it, buddy. We go for it. I got this. Me and this guy. We got this. Sweet, sweet. No, I do appreciate that. No, in all fairness, uh, knife and boot here. He's, uh, he's. Uh, I, I appreciate his uh, style. I mean, yeah, he did duck out and would just go for a bunch of mad kills that weren't necessary, but he came right back as soon as the coast was clear. So you know, he's got the uh, the right mentality for just uh, getting these objectives done. I mean, if you've got the power to clear the enemy well away from the objective, and then just jump right back in it, why fucking not? You know. <laughs> But the Prime should finally show up now, I think. Yep. See if I can't chain some explosions with Knife and Boot here. I'll use Warp to detonate his uh, Inferno Grenade. Fire Explosion, then follow that with Throw and get this beastly Biotic Explosion. Primes haven't got a chance. That was an epic miss. Guys, uh, maybe his uh, dark channel? No, not dark channel. Fucking annihilation field. 
maybe playing up there because he was like right up to that geth. Used throw and there was no bang. He just got knocked back. So I'm guessing he's got that optical illusion which is messing up his game. I mean, this is the, my polite way of saying you done goofed because <laughs> you want to get explosions going constantly with this character. And there's the old headshot medal. Took a bit longer than it should have, but like I said. Uh, the, the, my biggest issue with this 360 pad right now is uh, is the battery pack. It's real. Um, I understand why it's there. <laughs> but I'm so used to having a pad. With, um, and the worst part of it is the fact that my uh, the charge pack that I use on my 360 thing is completely broke. i still got to actually connect this thing directly to the console. So... <laughs> I've basically got a battery pack here for no reason. Because I know the wired pad for the 360 doesn't have a big bulge on the back. It's the problem with these fucking charge packs, they don't last forever. I think the best, um... I think that you'll get more life out of actually buying re... ...sort of charge separate from the controller and putting them in. They just, they seem to fade uh, nowhere near as quickly as these fucking battery things that you get, you can buy. This is the official Microsoft one. Maybe you guys know of uh, like a third-party one that completely kicks ass. Feel free to share that with me. <laughs> Primes are back. Boom. Hit it at the same time there. So no bang. Oh, lovely. Good throw, my friend. Good throw. So, well, you know, let's be fair, guys. This pub, uh, this bronze game filled up pretty quick. Pretty effing quick. So, I would say bronze is still very much alive. Anyone who tells you that uh, ME3 multiplayer is dead, you can definitely get a bronze game. <laughs> okay. This was real quick. Whoop. Yeah, this uh, Prime's going to love us being here. We're very easy to hit. Whoop. Should have guessed that he was going to... Uh, the enemy just can't resist that kind of shit. Is that a hunt I just saw there? There's two. Yeah. I do fucking love the arc pistol, by the way. If you haven't come round to the arc pistol yet, I strongly suggest you do. It's a damn good gun. I mean, for all the reasons I've already said in the uh, Asari Adept Guide there, if you haven't watched it already, though, I mean, it's just sweet, sweet damage. You know, like, with um, the charge shots taking up three rounds per shot, and uh, charging each one of those shots that it uh, uses by uh, three times, so you get nine times the damage with the charge shot, which basically, with this uh, sweet, like, 18 uh, size uh, magazine, that's six charge shots. Which is basically the same amount of shots you get in a Carnifax pistol, and then you're doing damage which is greater than that of the Paladin pistol. So it's like... Ultra-rare damage. With, like, gold capacity. It's it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing gun. It's as light as you really need it to be for any character in the game. So it goes on anybody. It's just great. Oh, okay. shit! I took me longer to realize the true pistol itself. Now that I and I'm spreading the word, hope you guys will uh, absolutely accept it into your hearts too. Almost got down. Ugh. Of course, the air of effect damage of the uh, Prime's fucking siege pulse there is hurting me just because it's hitting the fury next to me, even though he hasn't actually shot me. Gotta love that kind of uh, science, haven't you? Huh? Huh? 
Oh, he's rocking the hurricane. This guy is ready to him. You like that? You like that? <laughs> I did. I enjoyed that. Line up. Come on, come all. Boom. Um, well, I don't think they can even spawn the enemy fast enough at this point. Sneaky Pyro. Boom. Fucking guy crumbled because uh, obviously his red health's been tapped. That. Oh, whoops. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Was not paying attention. So how's chat going? How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? I wish I could play, but I had to put my 360 away for a trip. Oh, that is a, that's sad. You should never leave a, a good console behind. I have almost all the characters on the Wii U except for the Krogan Vanguard and Soldier. Ooh, two meaty, meaty characters. Hey James, how you doing? So we've got a book for the uh, Awakened Collector of Death in the next game. I'm absolutely on board for that. Always loved your in-depth guides. Just want to say thank you. You're very welcome. I'm, uh, I truly appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Good to hear that I'm not surprised. If any uh, platform is going to give a game life beyond death, it's going to be the PC crowd because they will just find new ways to make that interesting. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna. I'll shift over to uh, Awaken Collector action for the next game. I'm gonna see if I can. Um... See if I can uh, 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 trip this guy out just a little bit. <laughs> I can boop. Check me with my Portuguese translation. It's not mine, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> right, I think bronze was okay. Uh, I was going to jump over into uh, silver then, but we have just got a new guy jump in who is clearly not ready for silver just yet. So I'm going to give him a chance. He's a human infiltrator with the mantis, so he is ready to go. He's got a good loadout to uh, get himself started there. I'm going to go and put my own equipment on while I uh, set you guys up with a little commercial break. Okay. Warp one. SMG Juan, uh, Power Juan, and um, I guess I'll just go with uh, the expert package. That might not actually be what I normally recommend for this character. It's been a while. I might prefer to just go with like the adaptive war amp on this guy. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be too crippling for me. <laughs> Regardless, who have we got now? Oh, he got rid of his mantis, but then he changed character. So, yeah, no. And uh, this guy is an Asari Vanguard with the Faiston and the Paladin <laughs> and explosive rounds. Um, yeah, I mean, the Faiston is best used up close, so no one's going to get you closer than a Vanguard. Hey, up. 
How are you doing? Or oh, Union uh, Pacific. I do remember, see. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Watching from a, a charter bus due to a track meet? Okay, buddy. Fair enough. Fair enough. I appreciate uh, your dedication. I really do. All right, lean back into my creaky, squeaky chair. In case any of you guys have, like, uh, picked up on this. Hang on, see if I can just, like, recreate this. If you've picked up on that in any of my videos, I do my best to try and uh, edit it out and remain perfectly still. Uh, I haven't been farting. It is the chair. Honestly. See? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's been around a good few years, this chair. Down, and yeah, it's a hand-me-down, too. It's, it, it, we got this map again, wiped, not hazard. And we're up against Cerberus. Um, okay then, so we're going to get some... Of these. Assuming direct control. That was a bit, um, a bit haphazard. That <laughs> I think I try and get used to uh, this actor again. I know he's got patience that you've just got to learn to work with. Oh. Boom! I can't believe I didn't get him. Seriously, crazy. Fly. Okay, might as well just do some dark channel action over here. The problem with a map like this, with a character like, with this character, is uh, big open uh, terrain. Okay, you stick him, get a bunch of enemies in a corridor, and this guy is going to absolutely melt the fucking lot of them. But in open terrain. You know, you, so they can spread out too much for you to uh, basically get them all with their amazing power damage. It is a shame. Not an ideal map for him. Although, I, you know, in all fairness, half of the map is indoors. But I think most of the time they're going to spawn up here, and I'm not going to get any of this action. Dark Channel. Can jump. That's the point. Wow, these are going by super quick, innit? <laughs> uh, time to go green around the gills again. See, I normally don't bother doing that until I've used up all my seekers, but they're just uh, they're not getting used up quick enough here. The uh, the team is currently just all over the fucking enemy right now. They're gonna try and be more aggressive. We've got targets. Targets don't really have a chance, do they? Let's be honest. Ah, this uh, this uh, Vanguard's got uh, Stasis. Probably playing him, or her rather, let's be honest. <laughs> playing her more like the Adept from the Vanguard. Wow. And lift grenades. Lift grenades on bronze? I might as well just put the pad down. Let's be honest. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm never going to be able to uh, keep up with that. My powers are, uh, are slow. And they've got uh, more power than I than is actually needed in this present situation. So, <laughs> still got a seeker. I'm gonna just get rid of it and uh, get myself set up for the uh, next wave here. <laughs> okay, now maybe I can get some uh, year year action. You have got charge. Good. Vanguard without charge is not a Vanguard, let's be honest. And I don't say that to uh, throw shade at the Cabal. More to throw shade on the players that are just scared to use biotic charge. <laughs> you gotta, like, I, I'm... I'm not sure what program we're dealing with here. If he's the Sentinel, we've got a pretty biotic team here. The enemy haven't got a chance. <laughs> Just don't. This is uh, just pretty unfair for him, in all fairness. Dead Eye Shifty. You're from... No, he's the newest... Uh, well, the first new one to join, wasn't he? Who was the guy from the last game? Is that Multi Peter, I believe? Did I just walk past? Yeah, I did. Old school, male slotted. 
The collector SMG, of course, being incredibly accurate. For an SMG. <laughs> Enemy forces down to half strength. See, I just can't get my bombs going. There's just, uh... This seems too strong. We, we might... I hope we get the 10 waves survived. We're really in a, a, a situation to do that. Even with, um... I can't remember if that guy's Sentinel's level 1 as well. Oh, see, now... You really should check out this channel, uh, www.youtube.com forward slash Bunky, because uh, you can move a whole lot faster with that package, with that character. <laughs> I don't know if you know. Okay, maybe I can be useful. Nice to get at least one bang off. You've got it. Okay. Yeah, that is definitely the uh, Krogan Sentinel. That's a two sets of lift grenades. I'm being shot. I don't know about whom. Don't think. Annoyingly. Yeah. What the fuck's up with that? That's a uh, Centurion sitting up a turret back there. So let me uh, deal with that situation. Are you still alive? Nope. Really not. Power up again. Oh, a bit too fast on the uh, Seeker cancel there. Not that it matters. <laughs> That's an Atlas. So, uh, should definitely be able to get some bombs going over here. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Duck out. Oh, he died already. Yeah, I'm not used to that. <laughs> Atlas is, uh, uh, like, second healthiest enemy in the game. Uh, right behind the possessed Praetorian. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna shoot you right down. Phantoms. Hey, uh... <laughs> oh, you're still alive, are you? Don't do that. Don't live. <laughs> wow, just straight up killed her with a fly. <laughs> Wouldn't hurt a fly. Fly dirt you though. <laughs> oh, I'm liking the odds of us getting uh, ten waves survived. Some Atlas action again. Skadoosh. Oh no, my shit already got detonated. Never mind. God, is this the first wave to have Dragoons? Because I haven't seen them all game. Boom. Oh, that's a turret. Whoop. I missed out on all the action that was here literally seconds ago. Boom. I do really like the Awakened Collector. He's a really fun character because uh, just the way that his powers work, face force you to the role in what's going on here. And I like that. I like having that involvement. I don't play a game to watch, you know? <laughs> and so I do like the Awakened Collector. It is just a shame that um, all of his abilities are just so, like, theatrical that on open map, they really, you really don't get the best out of them. I don't have that much piercing, if I have any. Do I have that piercing on this character? Probably don't. Thinking Now I think about it, because this character's got Dark Sphere, 
I don't really stress having piercing on my weapon just because I can get round most obstacles with the, the explosion of the power. Dark Sphere covers a lot of ground. Even if you um, set it up for like Dark Matter. By the way, I know I used to not, but that's before I realised that it's got like a... What is it? I think it's got a target cap of like three enemies. So, it's pointless having the most colossal, like, seven meter ra radius on that on the power, because you can only hit three enemies, so you might as well just get all the damage. Aha, Atlas action. Atlas all for myself, maybe. Let's have a look. I probably should finish you off. That was a bit. Uh... <laughs> you wanted the melee, but it, you just. You, it was no. It was... Went near me. Surprised you went for it. Atlases aren't too quick to melee normally. <laughs> you normally have to be pissing about in, in front of them for oh, quite a while. Huh? Get some bombs go in. It's never too late. Planning on extracting this time. <laughs> Although I will admit to you that I only just realized that it's extraction. There he goes. You won't be in Mass Effect Andromeda, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, damn you and your smoke grenade. Oh, I got you, buddy. Never leave a Krogan behind. Not never. All right then, chat. How's the things going? How is things? Definitely moving up there. The <laughs> Definitely time to take a look at silver. What do you think is the best pack to buy to unlock most of the items in the later game? Uh, that's definitely the Arsenal pack. I have got a whole guide on the store. Should absolutely check that out. Because um, the Arsenal pack doesn't give you character cards. So you just got a better. You got more slots for more of the stuff you need. Uh, playing part while watching, listening to this. Shame I'm on PS. Love to see you. Uh, one of the many problems of the Awakening Prophy is that no biotic explosion modifies. No, he doesn't have any modifiers to biotic explosion, so they all are like sort of standard. Uh, oh, look at these guys all over the table. Well done. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, okay? See you soon. Go Drell Vanguard or Vorture Hunter on silver. Okay, okay. Who do I fancy the most though? Uh, okay, time to go up in the difficulty. I've been, I've played Biotics twice, so I'll go Vorture Hunter. There you go. That made it easier. Just mix things up ever so slightly. So when you get into silver difficulty, this is when I would probably start recommending using your consumables. Level 1s are fine. Level 2 is obviously better. So where's my uh, operative package? And I want, obviously, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my Sniper 2, feeling kind of crazy. Um, Incendiary 2 might actually be something I want to hold on to. Uh, yes, the Incendiary rounds are, don't come by easy. Yeah, I'll use one of my <laughs> two Incendiary rounds too. And I'll use a Power Ramp 2. I've actually got 
a load of power amps uh, because I was when I was trying to fucking unlock the Venom shotgun. Uh, I was doing a bunch of speed runs with my friends using um, Invader One's um, speed run uh, guides that he's got on his own channel. I don't know where he is. People keep asking me. <laughs> I don't know where he is or what he's doing <laughs> at the moment. I'm guessing family life has uh, got him 100% uh, at the moment. But he's got some great speed run guides. So if you've got like a group of friends and you've all got the uh, armor compartments, it's an absolutely amazing way to generate a crap ton of money for you. And uh, that's going to be your best bet of uh, unlocking the uh, ultra rares faster. Although it did not work out for me, I just got a bunch of uh, power amplifiers instead of the Venom shotgun. You're coming on. You got Killer Tom. Multi Peter's still sticking by me, and Dead Eye Shifty. <laughs> Dead Eye Shifty or was the human center of the phalanx. You got a Quarian infiltrator, female with Mantis. Um, yeah, got the right mods on that thing. It's a pretty, it's a, it's a, it's a decent setup. Uh, you, Omni capacitors is a complete and utter waste for a really. It's going to slightly increase your uh, sabotage damage because a uh, sticky grenade isn't tech. Of course, there, um, there are no tech grenades. Only combat or biotic. And uh, somebody hasn't realised that the eagle is terrible yet. That's a uh, phoenix adept. Why though? Why? Why human male adept? <laughs> when we've already got two characters that are human adept. This is the, this is the time to start using uh, stupid little like subtitles for characters when they already exist in a category. When you've already got that race, that's when they need a subtitle and they don't get it. I'm pretty sure the Asari Justicar's the same. She's just listed as Asari adept. And here, the only Vorcher in the engineering category, and he's called the Vorcher Hunter, just so you don't mix things up. Go figure. Okay, he's switching to the Turian with uh, the Avenger. He's going to probably do more with that than he is the Mantis. I mean, obviously the Mantis is so much stronger than the Avenger, but I'm talking about uh, as far as getting the most out of Marksman. Targeting VI drill rounds. Uh, while these guys get some uh, equipment on, why don't you uh, enjoy another ad, courtesy of your good friend Funky. <sighs> I think they're on me now, actually, so I'm going to go ahead and ready up. Silver Pugs are the worst! I hope at least some people agree. Well, we all, we're all about to find out, James. we we'll take a look at Silver Pugs. Ah. So, uh, uh, a bronze game. And did we just get 10 waves survived in the last game? So we know that these guys can are absolutely all over bronze. I would say, if you're, uh, if you're like, pugging bronze and you're able to get uh, 10 waves survived, you're probably definitely ready to go silver. <laughs> Who are we against here? Collectors. Okay, this might be tough. For them. <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I, uh, during like, some of my, um, my testing for the game, I will say that the, the collectors are quite challenging for silver players. They throw a lot of bosses Just not ready for, you know? Okay, gotta get remember now that his, uh, his submission net is on. I keep thinking that his why he's gonna be his bloodless, because that is the position for all other Vorcher, but it's absolutely not the case here. So yeah, Multi Peter and Dead Eye Shitty, they've been with me for a while now. They got bronze down. 
And you've got a pretty good, damn good um, setup here, Multi Peter. Apart from your uh, Omni Capacitor, I probably wouldn't bother that. Killer Tom. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just amuses me. Is almost as redundant as calling yourself cool. I mean, you've got to tell people that you're that specific thing. You're probably not good at it. <laughs> or quite haven't got it down. See, now that's one advantage submission it has over stasis is that you can, of course, um, aim it down cup and capture your enemies. Took me a while to pick up the Vulture Hunter, honestly, because obviously um, he can be played almost identically to the uh, Batarian Sentinel, and you don't need to do that, do you? Because the Batarian Sentinel didn't go anywhere. Um, but just looking at the, the, the slight differences with him, uh, you kind of realise that he could be put to use for better weapon damage. Uh, no, what am I doing? Not the target I wanted to aim for. All right, calm your ass. I'm trying to reload my weapon here. Is he? Oh, okay, he's behind me. What? Check my six net. You're gonna get a taste of the incendiary glitch, my friend. Okay. Targets are probably my favorite uh, objective, just because they can uh, be done so efficiently. <laughs> I don't think- oh, I say that, I'm pretty sure I didn't take out any of the targets just then. You ain't assuming direct control. Another um, easy to overlook uh, feature of submission there is that the enemy don't break out of it until, you know, it runs out. Three waves survived. So we had a down, apparently. Or was that wave three? Yeah, it was. Okay, the team did well. Stop! In the name of love! Oh, well, that's uh, ten waves survived on. Killer Tom got killed. Oh, what? Ah. Oh. to do the grab and then the character just stands up and fucking melees. Yeah. Buzzing around each other, it's very tricky to uh <laughs> get target to be honest. Like, what the fuck am I shooting? I don't know what the fuck I was thinking there. Nothing. Okay. Let's get some boss action going on. Incinerates on the house. A couple of incendiary rounds to finish the job. There you go. That's something. Of course you can't do. you up. I need to watch his back.
I got you. Fire explosion for free. I mean, uh, it's just to make two. Once upon a time, team struggling here. Going to see if I can help out. No, denied. Help! <laughs> Game attack, talking just. Oh, bro, check your ass couldn't catch. <laughs> okay, this little fucking guy here was blocking the Praetorian, which is funny. Whoop. What happened to submission there? Submission there. Oh, it was on you. Just looked like you completely moved me. Uh, halt! Just snipe. Could only be a Turian. I have to say, your colour scheme's looking a bit familiar, Dead Eye. I mean, you're gonna have to have words. Oh, okay. That's uh. Make a path. Denied! Oh, I always do that on this map! <laughs> Reading whether the mark is on this side or that side of this fucking... this cylinder shit. Oh, dear. Ooh, I can't... Alright. Silence before they get nasty. Oh, submission there. I've been talking you up, and this is how you repay me? Is that a... Does he care, or...? What a guy. Oh, yeah. Submission there, finish him off. Oh, I love my collector Snahi. They should have done that, mind you. I, I know they sort of like an excuse for having less enemies in collector enemies. It's like there was like a collector sniper unit in me too. I think he used the that particle beam gun, whatever the fuck it was called. And uh, you know they could have just had a sniper effector in. The, uh, and they There was also like an Eclectic Guardian, I think. He used to put up, um, like shields. Which is basically the normal Collector Troopers do their webs. So. I... Bitch, get out the way. You got snahyped. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, incinerate went round the target I lit up. I am here. Can I just uh, get the incendiary glitch working while I wait him to do his bullshit? Sticky grenade tears him out real quick. <laughs> God, I love the sticky grenade. Powerful, powerful stuff. Possessed Praetorian here. I mean, look, look at all these bosses, man. This is tough. This is tough for a silver player because there's no other enemy faction that throws any bosses at you at this level of the game. Silver players are frightened of collectors, because, uh, you know, 
<laughs> they were this much harder than all the other factions on every difficulty. They'd be something to really be worried about. I mean, Platinum, they're pretty fucking nasty um, at the beginning and at the end. But fortunately, you do have those uh, middle waves where they're just generally... It's time for you to breathe! <laughs> Collectors is woo, and uh, then of course when you get to, like a uh, wave ten, you've got to deal with like two scions, two Praetorians, two. two. It's, it's a lot of meat. Like, yep, that's just a. Oh, there was. Oh, I did see you on fire? Okay. Hanging about under the bay, always worth having a check. Because they're always trying to aim up at the guys who are standing in this tower. Because they think they can pee as... Some enemies do. They shouldn't, but they do. <laughs> No, kill it, I'm sticking at. I'm gonna stop him while I can. Whoops. Oh, I got him. Cool. Best way to connect with uh, the. Uh, Submissive net is to aim slightly away from your enemy. The, uh, the, the, the projectile normally curves straight towards them, and they'll normally try to do their, like, their face. They want to sort of shit in flies, that works too. I mean, the Scion as well. He's have to put you off collectors because he's got a. His AI, um, especially when he was possessed, it's. Real special kind of fucking twattery. <laughs> you know, it's designed to. Let's force character your players into um, into cover because you can't tank that shit. You build pretty much any character um, with three his cannon, and if he catches. Firing, you want to get out the fucking way. But then he goes possessed. And then he gets a new ability to flush people out of cover. So then he's got the ability to uh, force you into cover, immediately flush you out of cover, and then shoot you down while you're out of cover. It's like, no, that's not. That's all, Good work. Enemy is or you can be an enemy that forces them in. But being, being able to just make sure that there's no safe ground against him makes him quite the arsehole. I really uh, don't think that was not designed on the, uh, the side. Digital to make silence. Oh fuck! Uh, one of the worst enemies. <laughs> they just come from across the map. Where is the Praetorian? He's over there. He needs to be through all the shit from over there. That's outrageous. It's crazy. Well, I did catch you. Dead now. Oh, we lost Killer Toggin. There's another iron up here. Not long for this world. Oh. The thing with the uh, the possessed collectors. Uh, because they get that, that whole fiery particle effect, it kind of covers up uh, the particle effect from submission net. You don't really get them. And you'll notice they're not moving. But of course, what goes against your every instinct, because those guys can gun you down pretty fucking quick. And these guys have got... Ah, uh, they've got too much health. You know they've got like they've got like, the the health of like 
most small trooper enemies from the other factions. It's, uh, you know, and they can just chat out continuously, <laughs> like an annoying group. Still Zion's over here? Yeah, there's one. Pretty good vantage point for me here. Mantis. Snipe piercing mantis. Yeah, so that was like probably cut the two. Uh, did in him. Okay, it, now I can see for the fact <laughs> that it's over that side of the map. Stop me uh, fighting through enemies I don't have to. You're in. Stay close to maintain connection. What the fuck? Okay. Oh, oh, this guy's gonna need a. Well done, good fuck. That was quick thinking. Well done. I like you! Uh. Now basically this game... Uh, if you get hit by one of those uh, Scion shots, the best way to avoid getting hit by the rest of them is to just run perpendicular from the enemy. That's the best way to throw off their aim. And the one perpendicular You turn straight at a fucking 90 degree angle and you run dead straight in that direction. Right. I think there's a Praetorian in the thing here, but I want to stop this Scion before it becomes problematic. Okay, cool. Ah, I really didn't want to be hit with that. Finish you off, though. Huh? Oh, there's a grenade! I didn't see an icon. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm sure many of you at home were just screaming at me to fucking move there. <laughs> when he hasn't got any protection, Incinerate's pretty damn good at fucking stopping them dead in their tracks because it will probably panic that enemy for you. Of course, get the Incendiary glitch kick in. One more! I think there's like the, the Vulture voice is like straight out of a fucking E Man, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got shit! Enemy is regrouping, trying to reload. Okay, extraction. And it's lower extraction. Huge advantage, of course, of being on these difficulties is that uh, there is a limit to how many boss enemies they spawn. Pad. Just needed to use a thermal clip, honestly. Point is exposed. I can't see through this Praetorian corpse.
uh, eight tracks, I think. 30 seconds on the clock. I have every intention of going home. That's, uh, that's what incendiary rounds do. Is that a Scion yet? Really? Big, come on, you big peanut eater. Da -da, da -da. So how are you doing, chat? <laughs> yes, it's scared on ya! Beast man, what do you know about taking Maybe, but if you save RPGs for them, then there is always backup there. That's a conversation that I'm clearly not a part of at the moment. <laughs> this but I do the same milli run shoot and then will he swings yes uh, okay I'm gonna try and break you away from your own little conversations here and try and encourage you guys be another character then for uh, ice game oh yeah I'm gonna go ahead and jump in somebody else's lobby cuz I forgot to mention that didn't I yeah, of course guys uh, I'm here for the public I'm basically your hall right now if you uh, if you've got a game uh, buy me an invite. I'm pretty sure I can find time to jo join you. If you uh, can see there's a space in any of the games I'm in right now. should look that shit up. If you uh, like put in the map and the enemy and the difficulty. And uh, of course then I can... Uh, you can got a better chance of connecting and filling in that spot. So I'm going to be joining uh, Mr. Rated82. Which I'm pretty sure joined me in uh, one of my earlier videos. He's obviously hosting a, uh, it better be a public lobby. It ain't pug life if it ain't public. So I'm going to jump in there and uh, maybe you guys can. Uh... I am on the Xbox 360, of course. That is uh, a massive limitation. But if you are, ha if you happen to be a, a fellow 360 er go ahead and um, send me your invites or come and hunt down. I'm out. No, I can't believe this was never sorted out. You've got to leave multiplayer to come back into multiplayer to join your friends. Ugh. <laughs> Although I will say one thing, being on my PlayStation for so long has got me very used to waiting around. That uh, The PSN is not fast. It's really fucking slow. <laughs> but it's slowly getting better. It was the, the last um, like firmware update to uh, the PSN was huge. It gave us a lot of features which I was... Horrified to see that they weren't there. Of course, when I first got the PlayStation 4, fucking, there's no way for me to set myself as offline, or at least busy. So that would have been a pain if I had a full friends list and people just kind of messaging me while I'm trying to record stuff. And um, there was no way to invite you know, you know, your friends to your game unless the game had an invite system. But they finally started to put this kind of stuff in. The PSN is slowly getting Xbox Live. <laughs> and I always like now Xbox Live is superior to the PSN service. That's uh, my biggest regret for uh, leaving the world of uh, Microsoft consoles, but uh, other than that, I'm absolutely loving my, uh, my PlayStation 4. Okay, so we've uh, already filled up in a gold game. I think it was about time to do gold. Okay. Hey, Mr. Raider 82. I can't hear you. Um, right, what have we got here? What do you want to do? Do a Vanguard non-host. <laughs> you little bitch. Which Phoenix, Phoenix Vanguard off host. I, I'm guessing Mr. Rated 82 is uh, American because the the odds are. <laughs> I, I see that. I see my statistics and my analytics. I know that most of my audience is uh, American, so that, you know that's the odds. And uh, I don't like the idea of being the Phoenix Vanguard on an American host, but fucking do it anyway. <laughs> wow, well, since a as Mr. Whippy here. How am I doing for equipment? Do I need to stack up on anything? No, I'm alright. I'm good. 
I think I might pop into stall and uh, pick up an Arsenal pack. Uh, okay, so we got incendiary rounds, disrupt rounds. I'm happy. Honestly, and ops survival packs are quite possibly my favourite consumable. So that was a pretty good pack, in all fairness. Time to get geared up. Uh, disruptor rounds for my man here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Disruptor 4 because, as you can see, I've got plenty. Uh, definitely want one of my Clonics on the dude. Uh, it's all about the melee. Yeah. Uh, hey. Juggernaut shields is what I'm going to be using for all my gear. That's uh, me. There's a there's a gap here if anyone's interested. Unknown, unknown gold. Obviously, I'm playing with Mr. Raided here. He has got the Tyrion Sentinel with the Paladin. See, now he's going, he's going Paladin with the Piercing Mod and the, uh, the Heavy Barrel, which is normally like your, the best mods for your pistols, but the Paladin's got three shots! Three measly fucking shots and it's clipped, so I do normally go with the magazine upgrade on there. What I'd probably recommend for if you can hear me is to the instead of the piercing mod and then equip armor piercing rounds or drill. Um, that's me. I was just about to comment on this load. It's a good thing I fucking spotted because I might have insulted myself and made a right ass of myself there, but there you go. Uh, grave here, grave asp five. Human Engineer with a Lancer and Hurricane. He's, he's set. Uh, he's got Incendiary Rounds. Yeah, he's. he's and we got uh, Just Susan. Yeah, I can three. hear you. Got a delay on oh, me. Uh, Arc Pistol 9. Good choice, good choice. He's putting a power magnifier on that thing, which is a waste of a mod slot on the Asari. No, he's not the Asari, he's the Volator Death. Still a fucking waste, even more so. Because uh, his power damage is equally crap. Should just be getting the piercing on there. Shizzy. I, I say that uh, just in case you're watching the stream. But uh, I think everybody's ready to go. And we're going to see just how bad I can biotic charge here. <laughs> this could be nightmarish. It really could, guys. And it's your fault. Cerberus used mobile defences. Yeah, that used to be what's cool about Cerberus. Cerberus was all about, there used to be that faction where you got to rush them, otherwise they're going to set up defences that will just make it possible to like, navigate the field. And then they gave them far too many phantoms and dragoons and they just became like the most annoying enemy faction anyone has ever seen ever. <laughs> I hate Cerberus. I actually think I'm at a point now where I hate Cerberus more than Geth. Because Geth uh, are, uh, are annoying, but Cerberus is cheap. Okay, like, and honestly, I'd rather be annoyed than... This fucking map again, really? Reapers, though. Okay. So we're now in gold on this fucking... Again. Oh, well, I tell you what I can't do is instant all of plastic charge of the heavy melee. That's, uh, that's... Not picking up on that too quickly. One of these days, I'll actually charge an enemy that's still alive. I just know... No, nope, that's another dead one. Okay, I feel it, I feel it, I'm feeling it! No! <laughs> Denied! Yeah! Fucking magic charge, death, kill, winning. This is mine. Got my name all over it. Okay. Uh, this is kind of messing with my mojo. Let's get rid of that. So of course I always recommend the disrupt rounds on this guy, because 
uh, tech bursts are just got the, the the most amazing radius on them. So if you want uh, to not get uh, a tech burst, the the way to go. It's going to stun a whole bunch of events for you, allow you to go in and uh, do your jam. Although I am going to do. Um, Um, um. Biology is, is, it's not that biology charge isn't happening, it's just happening to me. <laughs> okay, now it's time to switch over to my gun out. There we go. You had it in you. I actually wanted to. Uh, Sometimes likes awesome. <laughs> okay, we're going to escort. On his light melee, you can hate surf that shit. It's pretty. I'm just switch it up. Of course, uh, smashing directly after I've um, used up my second round means I get to reload during the animation, but uh, if you guys keep throwing projectile power... It's fuck all. <laughs> Okay. That's a job done then. Cool. I know there's some dudes. Oh, you guys are getting slapped. No, not apparently. There we go. There we go. Really? That didn't register? Okay. First on him to finish him off. Got you, Susie. Who? Get away from him. There we go. Mission accomplished. Enemy is regrouping. Time to reload. Oh, I just got my waves completed. For like a billionth time. Okay. I'm going in. I can't melee. Direct after charging. It's problematic. Charge! There we go. Knew you had it in you. Huh? I don't like face. Go get the triple shot on that shit. Stay the brute. It's gonna happen. <laughs> it's just not gonna. Okay, or not. <laughs> this is my jam here. See a brute climb over me like I was a fucking wall. Apparently. <laughs> Might end up using the wraith for most of these later waves now, because uh, the reapers get meat. Oh, 
You right, mate? Down here. Right, she's in there faster, so nobody needs to worry. For uh, getting her to put up a, a shield. But the thing is, she uh, she put up a shield for Smash as well. So really, uh, i got to use a smarter. i got to try and uh, start smashing as soon as she starts casting. Down to 50% uh, capability is quite possibly one of the greatest lies you're going to hear in Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Because you are not down to half strength by wave 6. <laughs> You've probably taken about a third of their arms <laughs> by this point. Marauder was just like, I'm outy. <laughs> I saw the party drain come in and I want the part of it. <laughs> oh. And he came to get me. Clever fuck off girl. Right. Get some ammo. Really? That didn't register shit? Char melee, I mean? Got the charge. I, I can't follow the charge of the melee. still alive? Ah, okay. Go into uh, hard cover here for that sweet. Uh, very keen on not dying um, after the wave. Take it. Really? Okay. Huh. Huh. Man! <laughs> oh, no, not the Giga D goo. I thought I was out. Must not heavy melee after I charge a pound. Well, cool too, I guess, maybe. My three multiplayer is make sure all these cool ass fucking powers. Work off host. <laughs> there's just this far ping heavily ping reliant moves in this game, and it's just a dance. Because like my follow adept is super fun, but it just does not work off host because those biotic orbs. 
Not a direct connection. Hooray! I'm probably gonna be a banshee gun through the fucking wall. Should watch my back. <laughs> I'm alive. Okay. Okay, back up. Back up. She's just here. No, she's still teleporting. Now she's better. Too slow on the smash, unfortunately. Get slept. Ooh. Don't smack me around the back of Right, this is, uh, ooh! I'm gonna just go ahead and clear this so I can get my friends up. I fucking love the Wraith! Such a good gun! <laughs> Such an amazing gun! Yeah, ah! Oh. Block. Can't block the Wraith! That's for damn sure. What wave are we on now? Nine? Yeah. Excuse me? <laughs> oh, nice! Ah, uh, that kill streaks. The dead guy. Ooh, there's a Ravenger behind, which I probably should, uh, Give some love and attention. I love how he Sweet Ray on Smash up. Uh, don't be here. Uh, Happy to use it. Come here. There's also an amazing range of heavy melee. Come on. I cannot, I cannot. If I try to heavy melee after I charge, I can't get just straight up like... Look at the job on, like... Oh no! No! You have to die. Huh? He's still alive! Cool. I'm gonna pick some people up here. If my pad would stop... No. Every controller I've got for the 360 fucking does this now. I just keep moving and what the last direction I press. Oh, still alive? No. Thank you, buddy. Targets. Denied! Hopefully we got a marauder now. Wow, you still got me? Really? Okay. Let me just wait for these uh, hunks of meat to shimmy on. Oh, okay, I'm getting picked up. Much appreciated. Something? Phoenix Smash! Oh, the reload fucked up on me there. I don't want that to start happening. I'm not going to repeat to that, please. Bit of a uh, bone yard here between me and uh, okay, I almost got your grape. Grape. <laughs> it, it, what is he? Yeah, 
That's fucking teamwork! And that's what I'm doing smash happy days. Close. What? I wonder if I just like trip out. Yeah, catch him out. Yeah. I'm... Oh. All clear. Good work. Clear. Enemy is regrouping. Time to reload. Uh, extraction now, isn't it, Mr. Rated? So I turned away before I got your bro fist back. There you go, Mr. Spectre. <laughs> That's to be the biggest dick move ever. Like, put out your fist for a bro fist, and the moment he comes back, you just. Well, I suppose it's been done like a million times already with a high five. <laughs> We've brought a high five for the last minute. <laughs> oh shit, there's uh. Bane she's everywhere. That'll do. That's the light melee, which I want no part of, but no. Wow. Sweet, sweet 50% damage reduction on the heavy melee to make that brute not me. Reason to follow your smash attack with. Oh, hello! <laughs> Fucking heavy melee. Oh, you stopped my smash! You get a light slap! <laughs> uh, smash all day! Snipes with uh... the acolyte, by the way. If you get it to bounce, its uh, radius increases. What? Well, its hitbox increases. Nothing wrong with a bit of acolyte typing at the end there. And that's another victory. Happy days. Sup, Ben? How you doing? How's the weather in Wales now? It's uh, completely surreal. I mean, we can, it will absolutely bucket it down um, in the middle of the day and then it'll be glorious uh, for the beginning and end of it. It's making uh, walk by uh, my little cockapoo difficult because he spurs like a sponge. He turns to crap really quickly in this weather. But one of the most fun builds for me is ED melee build. Destroys phantoms on gold. Yes, the Eevee uh, melee build is a, a far, a far more than viable build. It really is powerful. I need to agree. Although, <laughs> shotgun infiltrator. <laughs> so I'm gonna give her a shotgun and I'm gonna infiltrate. Um, Mr. Rated, how about you uh, knock that up to platinum for us then, buddy? Let's see how the platinum pugs roll. Because that gold game filled up instantly. I think that filled up like the moment I got in. Forgive him if it looks like he's ignoring me for a bit. There is a delay. Uh, while he picks up on that, I'm gonna give you guys a little ad. He's still good. I'm gonna just save my cash for uh, an Arsenal pack. Then that's where that's where my cash goes now. Emily is extremely fast. Yeah, the the ED bot. She is a good Billy character, and I do. Um, there is a Millie build in the current um, guide for her. Uh, I think. It's put, I think I went into more detail through the annotations, but uh, when I come round to uh, redoing the ED yes, bot, mate, platinum, no problem. Nice one, Mister Rated. Good work. Um, no, but when uh, in the when I redo her guide, I'll absolutely go into more depth about the melee build for her because it is good. It is viable. It's terrible. Thirty degrees Celsius sounds lovely. Um, right, okay, chat. This m <laughs> may or may not be the last one. Give us a good character to go to potentially go out on, and we'll see how I feel after this then. <laughs> character choices, please. Waiting for the stream to catch up. 
Well, they make up a song with no rhyme or reason. I mean, suspense here. The Batarian soldier. <laughs> no, no. You're speaking my fucking language. I mean, unfortunately, my build of the Batarian soldier is like exclusively projectiles, which is also atrocious off host. But you know, that uh, that Vanguard game wasn't terrible at all, actually. Apart from not being able to ch uh, follow up my charge with the heavy melee um, consistently. I think I might have gone off once or twice. Uh, that was pretty good going, in all fairness. I did recently get a nice internet upgrade so that I would be able to uh, perform better for you lovely people. <laughs> Seems to be working out. Okay, so uh, grenades are mine. <laughs> One of my precious few shotgun rear lamps for this, and also one of my precious few Incendiary Rounds 4 will be going into this gameplay. So my Incendiary Rounds 4 are looking quite tidy recently. Absolutely good for that. Okay! Sly Bartleby is a human sentinel with an Avenger. You're gonna have to pick up your game, mate. This is plat. Are you ready? Are you ready for love? Oh, we got a Geth Infiltrator Piranha here. This is uh, this is the boy to back me up. That is for sure. And then we got a, a Juggernaut. <laughs> oh, with an eagle using... Uh, is that the cranial trauma system and power mag? And then, of course, he's a prop. This is a pug a naught. Look at those strength enhancer juggernaut shield. Someone's planning on doing the heavy melee all fucking game, that's for sure. <laughs> that is one hell of a puggernaut right there. Because <laughs> he's given himself a gun, which he's, he, he can't accept. It's not like he can fall back on that when the melee ultimately fails him. And this guy is sticking with his Avenger with the stability mod. Uh, I, I tell you what, I'm just super happy right now that Mr. Rage is rocking out the uh, Piranha Geth Infiltrator. <laughs> this is uh, this is kind of looking to be a bit of a platinum duo. Although, the, you know, this guy's Sly Bartaby could just be like the most bit of. And he might shock us all. <laughs> you want to um, stay unknown, unknown? Yeah, let's stay unknown, unknown, mate. I'm gonna, uh, you probably could take a while to hear me say that, so I'm going to just ready up to answer you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, who wanted to see a platinum duo today? <laughs> platinum duo plus dead weight. Not to throw shade, I'm still waiting for Sly to just completely shock us all with his amazing secret skills. Uh, the Pugganaut, I have officially got pegged as a Pugganaut, though. <laughs> and if he puts down the Hex Shield, he's dead to me. He's fucking dead to me, okay? Especially with my character, who is... It's the worst shit I don't want to see right now. <laughs> oh, not me. <laughs> okay, Hazard Glacier Cerberus. Ah! <laughs> no, not Platinum Cerberus. Okay, this is gonna this this is gonna be a bitch because I fucking hate all the phantoms and uh, dragoons you gotta deal with in this situation. <laughs> all right. Oh, that Atlas is wow. He got me. Right, what I was uh, about to say before I was so rudely fucking interrupted by uh, Mr. Atlas there is you can get some really sweet damage out with the growl much faster than you'd expect to. The uh, the growl's got uh, the, the growl charges up like most other charge weapons do, and unlike like the uh, the key shock that I shown you recently, and uh, even the get pl uh, plasma shock. I am just shooting through this guy. Fucking hell! Um, even the get plasma shotgun to a certain degree. Um, and I, I don't mean to a certain degree what I'm saying is true. I mean to a certain degree I've showed you the Geth Plasma Shotgun. Um, but yeah, the uh, the girls uh, the girl shotgun has just basically got a charged shot or uncharged shot. There is no middle ground. There's no 
charge or quarter charge shot. So basically, as soon as this gun switches over to charge shot mode, you get charge shot damage, and you get that with just 0.8 seconds of charging. Okay, so you really don't need to wait the full second to get the, the, the double damage from Thrall. So if you just, like, uh, basically delay your shot for a fucking split second, you are good. Okay, you are really fucking good. To just do amazing damage, because you can't forget that the Growl, of course, has got um, the three times head. Uh, two mooks. This is also a really crap map for grenades. So the, this is really worked out against me right now. Again, uh, Geth Infiltrator Piranha's definitely got my back right about now. <laughs> Ugh. Thank you, sir. I keep trying to fucking dodge roll. I need to remind myself that that's not going to happen. And I'm going to uh, use my, one of my thermal clips here to get some inferno grenades ready for this double atlas action. Although I might have just thrown a grenade there that didn't actually leave my hand. So, uh, yeah, go on, shoot me in the back with a fucking bullshit shot, that's cool. And, uh, throw down two more. Tatlas doesn't know what to do with himself. That's fine by me. I went down before Sly, so, you know, no shade, no more shade, shall I say, over here. That was lovely. Woo -wee. Yeah, I probably shouldn't own another grenade when the uh, the Geth Piranha is in the area. <laughs> He's like a million times more effective than an Inferno grenade, and that's fucking saying something. Okay, I'm gonna cover your ass. Cover this one. But, uh, DC Douglas. Don't want anything to do with that Atlas right now. Damn! Um... Mind you, um, something I completely uh, forgot to uh, like realize. The fact that I'm off host means I can hit phantoms! I mean, I could hit them anyway because I've got sweet fucking growl action going down, but... Now I can really hit phantoms, I don't... Fucking 90% damage reduction bullshit at any fucking time, motherfucking nonsense! <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try and get this... Nope, I was about to say, I'm gonna try and sneak this one before the Atlas realises I'm here, but he did. Okay, now I'm going for it. Oh, you're still alive, huh? Boo! There's another Atlas round there. <laughs> wait for uh, wait for her to get off my body. Dead? Oh yeah, of course. She uh, she got on the wrong end of a Geth infiltrator apparently. <laughs> oh, what was I killed by? A swarmer. Thank you, sir. Oh right. Oh ow ow ow. Okay. Let's uh, try to stay alive for longer than a second. Damn! <laughs> and then still the brute got me? Really? Oh no, that's what I killed. Yeah, it's got me now that the smoke's cleared. Got me again. At least, uh, the fact that I've got this uh, Phantom and Atlas here means that they're not at the device, so I'm doing something. <laughs> the team might not realise it, but i got two Atlases over here, so that device better get done soon. Ow. Shit. I don't want to use another thermal clip, so I think I'm just going to, like, endure here. Ah, 
I should probably use Ballistic Vapes to reload cancel as opposed to try and use the smack trick that's uh, just still stuck in my head right about now. The, the Atlas, you, 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 you quickly learn just how tanky the Atlas boss really is when you're uh, using a weapon you can't pierce with. Because <laughs> now you're just taking on like, the whole fucking show here. I'm going to have to move. I actually went through all my ammo fighting him. And my team's in trouble. I'm going to try and pick some of these guys up. Oh, that was a mistake. There's a phantom around you somewhere. I guess she, uh, she took off. What can I say? Trying to go for an endurance round against... Oh, there you are. Ballistic blades for the, uh, the sword break there. Atlas is now... in pot shots at me. I see you, baby. Shaking your ass. And now I've got the Seekers here. If I just concentrate on one thing, that would be glorious. But no, the Seeker Swarms are, like, on me, so I'm out. I'm not going to waste my Inferno Grenades until these, uh, these giant shields are gone. Oh. <laughs> and, then the, and then the Geth turns up and they're gone. <laughs> right, nice. So, wave four now. You. Watch it. You're not one for this world. You're not doing that. Boom. Okay, we've got Banshees on the scene now. Okay. That's a Hex Shield, so you're officially dead to me now. <laughs> He's not my friend no more. Just going to try to lay into her with my shots, because uh, she's going to block every projectile that comes at her. Finish her. Right, okay. Oh, that is a turret. And that's a banshee. <laughs> and I am out. Well, I, I didn't throw that grenade then. I just said my ammo did not go down. It's too late. I'm grenade now. She's on the wrong end of a gear. <laughs> okay. Now the waves start getting meaty. Let's, uh, let's tap into that wave while we can. Uh, this is getting some inferno grenades, that's for sure. Stop those bounties real quick. Back by a phantom, of course. Oh shit! Good thing I died. <laughs> All right, free revive. Yep, I'll take it. You're not long for this world now. There we go. To go, Phantom. Really, I can't hit these things. Okay, that's cool. Didn't want to kill anything anyway. Uh -oh. 
Okay. Okay, I'm gonna gel before this guy trucks on my head. Ballistic blades, get the black the fuck up. Oh, there's a phantom behind me as well, okay. Well, I'm not gonna leave for... Uh oh. Yeah, you guys are getting one of these too. I'm out. No! Your corpses are trouble for me. Oh, really? Ballistic blade fail. I think I'm okay over here. There's not many enemies left, that's for sure. Yeah, I thought I could get picked up. Thank you, Raided. Okay. Fuck you. Get the fuck away from me, flies! What do I smell? Alright, I'll do this. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend uh, staying by me. Because uh, they're coming for me. Oh, it burns. The bees! Not the bees! Need to get some grenade. I'm not even fighting anybody for him, and I still can't fucking hold on to him. Really don't want to go through all my thermal clips before we get to like wave eight, man. That's not good. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get past the guardian without dropping one of my inferno grenades. My best is few, so unless he finds a a a click to hang out with, that's uh, he's going to live for now. That guy's doing that standing up. I like it. The bad motherfucker that don't care about anything. And it's back up top then. Oh, ho, ho, I'm gonna just uh, make way here. Come on, corpses, it's time to move. Okay. Shields down. Right, now you're in trouble. I mean, you're dead. Because <laughs> uh, Mr. Raider joined us in that battle. Right, hit that too soon. And uh, that's that for Corridor taken care of. I don't know. Oh, I'm getting back anyway. Let's see if I can mail slot you. Nope. Oh, well, that's for you. <laughs> Ultimate row fist! Phantoms can die! Okay, this is... This is my song. If I can just... Actually, let go of the grenades. This is all. This is my song here. There you go. This is uh, this is my town. Yeah. Fucking Batarian soldier at his best there. Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> going to heaven, apparently. Right. Oh, it's busy over there. Let's get uh, a grenade on the house there. Bring in Sindri rounds to speed things up. Oh, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out! No, into the bees! Not the bees! <laughs> I can hear a phantom, but I can't see a phantom. That's the worst kind of phantom. But he's dead. I, I have to say, uh, I, I take back any, like, shit. I gave Sly because 
He's doing fine. Doing absolutely fine, this guy. Uh, nah, I'll just burn him. You guys are getting burnt too. Mr. Reddy just got a sweet kill streak from us. And another one. Two grenades. A couple of grenades for you, mate. And in Simply Round, just to top that off. The only way I'm gonna out DPS Mr. Rated. <laughs> Ah, fucking Sentinel is through me in my phantom battles, though. Headshot. I did not know that the Growl exploded heads. I thought it just put a giant projectile in between your eyes. <laughs> oh, too soon. Oh, hello. Really, really, Prime? Are you just gonna go? You're just gonna do me dirty like that and throw a fucking minion through the wall? That's super fucking cool. <laughs> All right. It's a sham. Ghost warples that you only get off host. Undodgeable. I mean, I can't dodge with this character, but even if I could, I couldn't get out of the way of that shit. Because they never officially leave the enemy's hand. <laughs> they just seem to find you no matter what. There's a dragoon behind me. Two dragoons behind me. Thank you very much, Sly. Much appreciated. <laughs> he just strutted onto that uh, proximity mine that Mr. Rated had left there. I don't know if that was intentional, but it was fucking funny. Probably be on now. Ten. Devices again. Okay, let's go get them. Yeah, I'll do this. No, I won't. Now I'll do it. No, I won't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I'm happy to rock this, actually. Just to move that shit along. Okay, that's the first one. Uh, okay, it's on the other side of the map. i to pick up some grenades while I make my tracks. Whoa! Just became one with the ammo box for a moment. I got this one. Mr. It, it's all over that. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Grab some grenades. Really? Okay. Got it. Yeah, you might. Oh, no, I got stuck. No, I. What am I doing? Okay. Shit. <laughs> okay. No, you're dead to me. <laughs> Last one. Yep. Okay, it's right oh, over here. Bitch. Oh no. I'm on it. I'm on it. 
Oh, you get it. Okay. Got a bit cozy there. I can't see. I can't see. I still can't see. <laughs> okay. Fucking flies love me. Okay, I see ya. Okay. What? I just got slapped. Okay, there's a phantom behind me. I can forgive that nonsense then. <laughs> I was wondering how she merely be into her sword. I hope that's not being revived into a banshee. Uh, run. Now you're not uh, casting, so I'm going to burn you. Burn the witch. Hitting me. Something's doing a lot of damage. Phantom, of course. Winning. Okay, this is where uh, all the Inferno grenades that I saved get used. <laughs> I think they're all dead. I'm going to stop throwing them down there. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> I'm going to gel. Oh, no, that wasn't an enemy, that was actually the Sentinel. <laughs> I thought that was a uh, Dragoon, then. There's so many Dragoons on Extraction, Platinum Cerberus, and I'm pretty sure that's an Atlas right behind my back. That I, if I could just get off this wall, that'd be super. Okay. Ow, I'm going down. Fuck it, see, Dragoons, they just... Spawn them faster than you can fucking kill them. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm going here, and I'm going to make this door mine. Oh, fucking dragoons are insane. I can't see, I'm just shooting blindly into the smoke here. Assuming there's dragoons, and it's a pretty safe well, assumption. Okay, time to get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's on the house, guys. It's a little parting gift, and we're done. Done too. So fuck all the haters. Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, still very much alive. That was heavy, mate. That was awesome. Yeah, good job. Good work there, Mr. Rated. Your Geth Infiltrator was on the job there. Uh, ballistic Blades uh, do not knock. They just like throw, unfortunately. <laughs> no, they do not. <laughs> There we go. Oh, look at that. I mean, I threw shade at Sly. I took my shade away, but I don't care. That guy, uh, I, I can only say well, helped him, but, uh... for the whole battle. So well done, Sly, with your Avenger. <laughs> you did uh, pretty damn good there. But like I said, that was a platinum duo. We all knew it was going to be. Um, yeah, I think that's going to wrap things up, guys. Um... Unless you guys can come up with a request for another character that is particularly fun. <laughs> I'm doing in the old equipment area. Get myself an arsenal pack. Oh, 90, 1952 bus replacement. Jesus, man, you've done some traveling. You've done more, you've gone further on this stream than I have. <laughs> yeah, the pack.
pack it, a Cyclonic 4 and Incendiary 4. Huge. That's like the best kind of fucking pack ever. Uh, I've got enough money for one more. Fury. Maybe he is cool. It has been two hours. Thank you for joining me, Julian. And I will see you in the next video. That's why I was kind of thinking of uh, wrapping up. And I, uh, I don't know. I think I might not push our pug friends here any further. <laughs> I think they, they, they did all right there. They spoke by. And of course, Mr. Rated carried us to victory. Um, what's this? Quarian male infiltrator with a claymore. Yeah, I mean, anything. You can literally put blah, 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 blah with a claymore and you get a thumbs up from me. Right? <laughs> that's, 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 of course. Infiltrator is a special case, I will admit. Oh, I'm good, mate, if you want to carry on. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for a request that just blows me away, but I think a lot of people are agreeing that it's, uh, it's late, it's now midnight my end. And uh, I think we've shown that uh, it doesn't take too long to fill up a lobby on Mass Effect 3 multiplayer anymore. So uh, I hope you all guys enjoyed the stream. I think I will call it. We had some fun today. Thank you, Mr. Ray Lady. That's a great lobby. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And if you did, please, uh, well, can you give a stream a like? I haven't checked myself, but give us a like. Uh, you, you guys in the chat have been amazing. Um, I look forward to see you guys in the next video. Of course, I've been Bunky. And you guys have been beautiful. Let's do it again sometime.